so today's topic is the uh, hydroponics uh, this is the new technology we all know here um, hydroponics is the we are growing the plants in the uh, in the water solution or the nutrient solution without the use of any substrate without the use of the soil without the use of any soilless substrate so we are just using the help of the water we are cultivating the plants uh, in this way so what is this uh, we the today is like we have given the hydroponics it can change the face of indian agriculture industry so that we can commercialize it and we can uh, you know multiply apply or propagate the plants in a very quick way so what actually it is hydroponics is what what it is a viable future we can say for agriculture and the farmers around the world the future for hydro hydroponics is very positive over the last 50 years we already know so almost actually what is uh, what it is it is highly productive it is a cap capital intensive method of the crop production technologically we can see we we need a tech, highly high tech uh, greenhouses we can we know uh, we can ha have this before installing the green uh, we have the first uh, high tech greenhouses then only we can introduce the hydroponic technology because we all know it is a very sophisticated and high tech um, you know system where we can use the uh, use of the water and the nutrients to cultivate the plants so the practice has been it is used for the sustainable elements uh, in conventional and the organic farming counterparts so what actually the hydroponics is it is more sustainable system which is compared to the open feed agriculture so it is the what it is the cultivation of the plants with the use of water and nutrient solutions rather than the soil so second is what is hydroponics hydroponics is what it is the it is derived from the hydro hydro when we are using the water and the here water is working without the soil we are growing the plants with the help of the nutrients instead of the plants will get the roots nutrients and oxygen from the water oxygenated and dissolved mineral nutrients so hydroponics allow the plant to take up its food with tiny efforts as opposed to soil where the roots must reach out to the nutrients so we all know that in the hydroponic system what we are using we are using the n number of the different nutrients with the help of the nutrient and the water and with in the presence of the sunlight we are growing the plant so we are escaping here the soil soil is not, not here so second is we can see um, in the soil and what is hydroponics here we are the two two differentiating images in front of us so here in the in the soil we see in the presence of the sunlight plant um, you know plant make up the uh, their own um, make up the uh, make up the uh, food in the presence of the sunlight with the help of water and the other nutrients so what is in in the hydroponics what is the uh, what is the difference in the hydroponics hydroponics do the same thing in the presence of the sunlight they make use of the carbon dioxide and the water to convert it into the glucose or the uh, which, uh, glucose and turn out to the oxygen parts outside so we can we why we should rely on it so it is an approximately we have taken out the uh, estimations like if we if we are growing uh, in the in the, the in the you know uh, in the um, uh, hydroponics we have seen that we, the production goes very high why because it is a first of all it is a high, very sophisticated uh, technique uh, very highly technical uh, technical people are allowing to use this technique and um, uh, you know uh, sustain with this uh, technology so we have an n number of the here cucumber cherry tomatoes capsicum and we can see how many plants and the production if we compare it with the soil so we can see the production rate is very high as compared to the outside field so now the what are the issues and why the farmers or the other per person should uh, allow or to choose the hydroponic system why because in the soil or others are open uh, if we are cultivating the plants in the outside what the difficulties they face they face the drought conditions are there unpredictable weather now we see uh, any time the rains come or the you know uh, un uh, shooting summers are there where the plant growth is very highly unpredictable so rising temperatures rising temperatures are you know now uh, one of the factor where outside cultivation it is very difficult 
so if the other thing is also the polluted water systems you know we now we see that the pollution is going a, a very high so growing outside or in the open systems are very very difficult that is the reason we should come we should choose the hydroponic system urbanization why urbanization very less so uh, we we are now choosing you know vertical farming to uh, commercialize the products or to multiply the plants uh, in a very less land so that is the reason we should we, we, we should shift we are shifting to the hydroponic uh, systems land acquisition is difficult because now the lands the getting the land it is a very huge um, difficult thing so for that what we need to choose we are choosing the hydroponic system which we can do inside uh, inside also you know indoor cultivation also we can say with the help of the leds we can grow the plant in the vertical farming in the vertical way where the uh, where the land requirement is less in as compared to the open fields so we see the malnutrition uh, we are not able enough able capable to produce the um, uh, you know sufficient amount of a food which is which everybody should get uh, so that is the reason we are shifting such such uh, uh, such technologies where we can multiply or we can propagate the plants in a very shorter span so we can produce we can uh, the target of uh, giving the food to reaching the food to everybody growing population growing population so growing population what it can uh, affect it affects the land acquisition it affects the you know proper um, reaching to the food to everybody it is it's not it is very difficult nowadays so we are choosing such of the technologies where we can propagate or we can multiply the plant in a very short span or in a land less land uh, in a very uh, you know uh, sustainable way so then this is the one of the charts what we have prepared with the hydroponics and comparing it with the soil so if we are cultivating the plants in a soil nutrient and water, water circulation it is not possible we cannot recirculate we cannot reuse the nutrients what we are using in the soil it will give, go waste off or it will go into the ground water so where um, sometimes for example in the outside when we are using the urea in a higher quantity so what it goes it goes into the ground water and the nitrate will create the uh, ground water pollution also so it is one of the ways in the soil uh, what when we are cul cul uh, cultivating the plant in a soil but when we are cultivating the plants in a hydroponic system it ha it is a it is a recirculating uh, you know a system where the nutrients comes back to the tank and goes filter again and goes back to the system ki hydroponics hum bol rahe hydroponics mein aap grow kariye to why hydroponics technology is you know like more beneficial than growing the plant in a soil so what are the what are the like kya aisi properties hai jo hydroponics mein hame choose karna chahiye pehla hai nutrient nutrient water circulation jo nutrient and water circulation hum soil mein use karte hain wo waste off hota hai matlab wo ground water mein chala jata hai wo underground chala jata hai sara but jo nutrients the nutrients what we are giving in the hydroponics it, we all know hydroponics is a recirculating system matlab wapas redistribute hoke wapas us tank mein jata hai fir wahan se filter out hoke wapas system ko aata hai ye तो इसमें 95 परसेंट लेस वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट है हाइड्रोपोनिक्स की एज कम्पेयर टू द सॉइल सॉइल में हम हमें क्या है इट इज एन ओपन सिस्टम ओपन सिस्टम इन द सेंस कि वी आर गिविंग द प्लांट वी आर गिविंग द वाटर टू द प्लांट एंड इट गोज इन टू द ग्राउंड वाटर बट इन द हाइड्रोपोनिक्स वी कैन हम क्या कर सकते हैं इट इज ए वाटर रिसर्कुलेशन सिस्टम रहता है वाटर वापिस वहाँ से वापिस आके सिस्टम से वापिस टैंक में जाता है और फिर फिल्टर होके वापिस प्लांट को जाता है तो इसमें हम 95% लेस वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट है एज एक्सक्यूज मी सॉरी सॉरी फॉर द डिस्टरबेंस कैन यू एक्सप्लेन इन इंग्लिश या श्योर श्योर ओके सो 95% लेस वाटर रिक्वायरमेंट इज इन हाइड्रोपोनिक्स एज कंपेयर टू द सॉइल सो सेकंड इज द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ द वाटर एंड न्यूट्रिएंट्स यस वी कैन डू इट व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट इज अ रीसर्कुलेटिंग सिस्टम व्हाई इट इज अ रीसर्कुलेटिंग सिस्टम वी ऑल नो that hydroponics it we have the um, recirculation system like for example the water with the in, in, with nutrients that fertigation goes to the plant and uh, comes back into the water tank and get filter and get to the plant 
bad. So yes, we can conserve the watery nutrients in the hydroponic system, but we cannot conserve the uh, watery nutrients in the soil. In the open field, we cannot do that. So it is a beneficial, uh, much beneficial we can see hydroponics as compared to the soil. Third point is what? It is a comparing point. It is a reduction of the land pollution and underground water pollution. So many of the fertilizers when we are using in the soil, what it happens if we are using the urea and every or other uh, of the uh, you know uh, fertilizers for example so nitrate will go into the when we are giving the urea excess of the nitrate will go into the soil and it, it goes uh, at the end it goes into the groundwater so what it uh, generates it generates the water pollution excess of the new nitrate generates the water pollution but it when it compared to the hydroponics what it happens it does not it is a closed system it uh, comes back to the it goes to the system and comes back to the uh, tank and then filter out so we can reduce the water pollution the like fertilizers cannot go into the groundwater so there is a reduction of the land pollution in the hydroponics as compared to the soil so crop specific nutrient fertilizer yes for example if it is a system and we are growing the cucumbers so we are we, we have to give this uh, you know specific of a requirement in the vegetative phase in the flowering phase in the fruiting phase so every phase we have to give the specific fertilizers which helps the continuous growing of the plant as compared to the soil so then the utilization of the vertical space yes in the soil in the open field when we are cultivating the plants outside in the soil it is not possible that we can use uh, vertically we can grow up the plants but with the help of the hydroponics we have seen many in high in many uh, you know technologies have been introduced which we can help to grow the uh, plants vertically we can grow up the plants so maximum utilization of the uh, space we can acquire in the hydroponics but uh, we, it is not possible in the soil so then the fourth point is the crop can be grown where no suitable soil or contaminated soil is there that is very true we all know that hydroponic system is a very highly uh, high tech system where high tech high technology um, greenhouses are to be used and then only the these systems are to be installed under that so where the soil or the contamination of the soil is not there because we are not using the soil for the propagation of the plant but in the soil we have seen when we are growing the plants outside in the soil what is what happens first nematode in uh, you know infestations mite infestations or many of the uh, soil borne diseases will come to the plant which creates the mortality to the plant then the second is the assurance of the root zone aeration yeah root zone aeration how because there is no um, there is a no substrate um, we are using we are just putting in the you know uh, in a pot in a, a small uh, hydroponic uh, we are uh, soil pots and then in, uh, in that we are putting the plant and then the system runs off so yes we, there's a good aeration there is no uh, uh, there is no uh, you know hindrance to the uh, root so, uh, uh, the oxygen uh, uh, depletion in the root zone in the hydroponics but, but yes there is a so, is the, but in the soil we have seen that if we we will do we will we will not go with the weeding if the weeding is not there so the uh, um, you know air transfer is very less in the soil which hampers the plant growth then effective budgeting we can do in the hydroponics likewise for example if i have grown the 3000 plants in a in a, in my um, uh, in my uh, this one of the system and i am assurance that this much of quantity i will get it from the hydroponics because there is a uh, it has to be grown in the very high tech greenhouses where the highly sophisticated um, you know um, um, uh, we, you well, high tech greenhouses are to be used but in the soil when we are growing the plant we have no effective budgeting of okay, like uh, this much of crop i can give the like for example total approximation of the um, itne kgs i will get why because there are many infestations wind infestation uh, mite infestation nematode infestation are in the soil so weeding traditional practices there is no in the hydroponics we don't need go for the weeding at all so these all practices get reduced in the hydroponics because there is no such uh, you know um, soil or we use the soil or any other substrate but in the soil yes weeding everything traditional practices are to be 
incorporated so soil borne diseases no there is no in the hydroponics so mortality rate will be very less in the so uh, in the the plants which is grown in the hydroponics as compared to the soil so the, uh, these are much of the list is what we have given so why we we should choose the hydroponic system rather than to go into the soil systems i hope this much it is clear can i go ahead with, can i go to the next slide yes ma'am yes the the very important for the hydroponics is what because there is no substrate we are using we are just using the water with the uh, with the incorporate we are incorporating the nutrients in that so the most important is the essential elements and the most important is this um, water quality first of all what we are choosing so what it should be the uh, it should be the less than of the water quality the ppm 140 uh, you know tds the tds should be less than 140 ppm the ph should be in the range of 5.8 to 6.2 why because many of the micronutrients are not in the like um, uh, plant are not able to the, um, not available the many of the micronutrients are not available in the in the acidic or if we go in the alkaline solution many of the um, micronutrients are not available so ph range should be we always used to maintain 5.8 to 6.2 or slightly acidic not much so uh, these are such of the parameters we need to keep before going with the hydroponic system then ec electrical conductivity it goes with the crop stage so if uh, what what uh, what is the what is the plant is in the crop stage we have to choose accordingly 1 or 1.2 ac or 1.5 ec first initially we have to choose it then temperature and the environmental controls is also there not more than 35 degrees celsius not 30 degrees celsius why because of many of the nutrients get, get um, you know it um, um, we are not able to um, uh, use the nutrients if the temperature goes very high so these are some of the parameters we need to be um, uh, go with the specific like the water quality we need to check the ph should be in a um, in a given conditions and the ec should be maintained according to the stage of the plant and the temperature so the nutrients will not get uh, uh, will not get the you know uh, uh, spoiled so what what are the essential elements for the plant growth we all know it is the 17 essential elements first three are hydrogen oxygen and carbon which is already present in the hydrogen is present in the water oxygen we get it from the environment outside and the carbon it is also from the environment then the 14 micronutrients nitrogen phosphorus potassium calcium magnesium and sulfur and micronutrients which are uh, which are you know require in a very less quantity these are iron manganese copper zinc boron chlorine molybdenum and nickel so these are some of the essential plant elements which are uh, used for the plant growth nitrogen we all know what it what it helps it helps in the vegetative growth of the plant phosphorus phosphorus is uh, is uh, essential for the good root uh, development of a plant and potash gives the overall development of a plant all the enzymatic activities which are present in the plant or goes in, inside the plant it it all regulated by the potash so calcium is what all the cell walls the st strongness of the cell wall it gives to the calcium likewise we all know magnesium is what magnesium is in the uh, in the formation of the chlorophyll or the chloroplast that the requirement of the magnesium and the sulfur is required so and and so forth we all these all are the essential nutrients which we have to give to the plant according to the crop requirement according to the stage of the plant we have to uh, choose what nutrients are essential to the plant so the type of the plants which is based on the hydroponic system is what for example first of all leafy vegetable herbs and it is grow uh, vegetative growth we have to maintain so number of cycles will be only 40 days cycle it is if we are growing the leafy vegetables then fruiting and wine crops like uh, your tomato capsicum cucumber so these go with the number of cycles like first it comes into the seedling stage then it has go to the mild vegetative then we have the strong vegetative then it uh, blooms it like the flower stage come then the fruit ripening likewise the flowering plant like rose gerbera so it has it in, into the two first the vegetative and then it goes to the flowering so likewise these are some of the uh, plants uh, which are using in the hydroponic system so
this is all about that then how to start the hydroponics if it is a seed we have to germinate and then uh, we turn it to the seedling then we have to harden it and then we can use these seedlings for the hydroponic system then we can also go with the cuttings we can take the cutting for a crescenthemum and all all the rose plants and all the you know um, uh, many of the plants we take the cutting so we have to take the cutting we have to um, keep it in uh, for 21 days then that seedlings could be used for the hydroponic system so type of hydroponics we all know uh, active systems we all know water culture nft dft ebb and flow these are all the uh, systems which are you know actively we are using so aeroponics is one of the system which can run on the water base it is a water based system where the plants are suspended in the air and with the help of the uh, you know uh, misting the plants are we are growing the plants so this is the aeroponic system then media culture we know it is a drip system like in organic media and organic media in organic media we have a perlite vermiculite organic media we have coco peat peat moss so this is the active systems first water culture it comes the nft system nft is the nutrient film technique dft is the uh, you know um, the um, the flow technique and the ebb and flow and deep water culture is another these are the water cultures then aeroponic and the media culture this is a drip culture likewise so what is the nutrient film technique and deep flow te technique nutrient film technique is a thin layer uh, so we a uh, thin layer of a uh, nutrient we are uh, we are you know thin uh, yeah thin uh, thin layer of a nutrient it is applying to the plants and the you pvc pipe it is of the uh, 100 mm of thickness we are using and the thin film uh, continuously moving inside the uh, that um, pipe so the flow rate we have to maintain 1 to 2 liter per minute net pot not required in the system but sometimes we do keep the net pot uh, because the plant sometimes it goes you know um, like unka jo root system hai wo pura proper uh, strong hone ke liye sometimes we use the net pots the installation is little critical because we have to maintain the slope of one or two per four person so technically we need a good um, knowledge of uh, installing the nft system so power backups the most important in the hydroponics is what electricity if 24 hours of electricity you have a need of because if it is a five, for example one one hour or adhe ghante if in a half hour also uh, the water if uh, we, we don't have the electricity the whole system will get uh, you know stop and the plants will not able to grow so power backup is required because electricity is requirement of, of the electricity is 24 by 7 so expertise is required yes because it is highly technical system tech high tech system so we need a highly knowledgeable and tech expert people which runs those systems all leaf crop so these systems are required are to be used for the leafy crops and the herbs if we have to grow so we are recommend to go with the nft systems okay and then the second is the deep flow technique it is somehow very much similar to the nft system only the the upvc pipe which is in the nft system upvc pipe is only 100 mm of this thickness uh, size but in the dft system little uh, you know pipe the size of the pipe is little uh, uh, larger so one uh, it is like uh, one to two inch deep water we can uh, you know goes into the pipe so here the i had no slope is required it is a flat pipe it goes into the straight way flow rate we have to maintain 1 to 2 liter per minute uh, one or two liters per minute flow rate is to be required net pot is requirement of the net pot because why because it is a deep uh, you know deep inch um, pipe so um, plants will not stand erectly that is the reason net pot requirement is essential here easy to install no no power back matlab 4 to 6 hours tak chalta hai why because as it is a deep deep water um, deep um, jo uh, the pipe size is a little deep so sometimes 4 to 6 hours is sufficient the plant the, uh, jo the water will keep inside the that end and plant will go keep it for the 4 or 6 hours it will be easy next is uh, expertise is required of all leafy crops and herbs are to be uh, we can go with the all the leafy crops and herbs we can go and uh, install with this so this is the requirement in the nft system if you see 
this is not required so such kind of pipes is required if you see in the uh, side uh, you know uh, white uh, in the white color nft system nft system such kind of a pipes upvc 100 mm pipes are to be required okay so th this is a deep water system it is a active flow system here uh, it uh, it is just uh, what we have to do is like we have to take one uh, kind of a water tank and then uh, uh, with the help of that we have to give one um, filter one pump with the help of those we can run the um, deep water culture system so it is a recirculating system where the plants uh, where the we have a um, where the nutrients goes to the uh, plant and recirculate back with the help of the filter and it comes back to the uh, tank so now event flow system event flow is what it is um, used for the highly sophisticated plants when we have to, for example, ornamental plants. When we have, we, we don't have to over irrigate the water, over irrigate uh, the, um, you know, uh, we don't need because sometimes over irrigate, overhead irrigation it, it creates the problem. So it gives a motility to the plant. So some that time we use the ebb and flow. Uh, it is suitable for all kind of the plants. Here the root zone aeration is quite uh, very essential here and the automation. We have some disadvantages about this system also. Why? Because it is a little complicated. It needs timer. Yeah, yeah. we have to uh, keep the timer, for example, for uh, five minutes or for 10 minutes as per the crop stage, as per the crop requirement, how much water we have to give. So as we need the timer here, we have to set the timer. As per the timer, it, it uh, you know, uh, the water goes up to the system. So sometimes we see the algal growth is also there in the up because uh, nutrients sometimes get settled down uh, in the benches and the algal growth we see and which creates many of the bacterial infections. Large pumping volume is there. Yes, uh, yes. And the nutrient toxicity sometimes deficiency is also there if we don't uh, keep the proper flow of the water. So now the thing is that like uh, we have seen many type of the hydroponic system. We have seen the hydroponic system. Uh, so really high, it is a very high sophisticated system. We, we need the electricity 24 by 7 hours. We cannot install this system without the uh, high tech greenhouses. First, we we need the high tech greenhouse then only we can install such kind of systems so uh, we have seen that this is these are highly sophisticated systems so uh, uh, if we see that the me medium of farmer or any other person who has a um, not that much of a money or sometimes like that so uh, choosing such kind of a high tech greenhouses or choosing high, such high high tech um, you know uh, hydroponic systems it is little difficult to with, with respect to the investment. So how to reach with the global, globally how to reach. So we have seen that many of the countries are, you know, introducing the hydroponics. In this, the highly are Holland, Spain, Australia, USA, Canada, New Zealand, Italy, Canada, Mexico, and China. These are the, uh, these are the countries which are using the hydroponic system using the vertically uh, vertically they are growing the plants where they are many they are micro propagating the plant in a huge volume with the help of the hydroponics they are using the uh, vertical uh, vertical farming are very much introduced in the china if you have seen with the help of uh, you know uh, leds or indoor cultivation they can grow the plant so this is what they are using in the hydroponics the main crop of uh, we can uh, with the help of the hydroponics the main crops are cucumber tomato lettuce strawberry herbs capsicum cut flowers yeah so in india what is the scenario we see uh, so opportunities in india development in india india has a rich climatic condition so which is favorable we have a good market such produce but labor cost in India, we, we, we all know it is very less, makes India an ideal destination for food outsourcing. Indian producers can address both domestic as well as international markets, uh, you know, has intelligent manpower we do have, can learn and fast the operating protocols. So how to channelize it? What are the marketing channels in India we, we can, we, we have to see? We have the wholesale channels. We have the retail channels, um, supermarket ch chains, export markets, operatives which help sell their produce. 
big groups jaise we, we are evolving and a very fast our mahindra groups we have you have seen they are come into the agri uh, agri now and you have seen the ambani groups they are into the reliance um, reliance ambani groups they are into the itc they are into the agri you know our agri marketing so producers specialize in one or two type of produce mainly have full control over their produce so what are the catalysts how to grow the hydroponic farming in india how to channelize it how to maximize this um, technology in the uh, in india first of all we have to introduce the big growth markets how which is high population means higher consumption we know that india is a highly populated country so consumption should always be higher capabilities the trend moving towards quality of food rather than price and quantity organic we always go with the organic organic and clean food getting preferences low cost of labor manual labor is easily accessible low cost to set up we have yahan pe like we have a low cost setting and maintaining operations easy communication and teaching arenas access to technology kaise how easy access to greenhouse and hydroponic technologies access to water pumps access to fertilizers and ipm technologies so what is the how to obtain the knowledge good knowledge of hydroponic methodologies knowledge of markets and customers so these are the ways we we can introduce the hydroponic farming first is we have to introduce the big growth markets then low cost of labor is in india we, so it is easy to adopt such kind of uh, hydroponic systems access to technologies we have and knowledge sources also there so what are the challenges in india we need to overcome Uh, regarding the indian hydroponic practitioners first of all capital cost capital cost is very high we all know because um, um, you know hydroponic system cannot be go do outside in the outside open fields first we have to install the high tech greenhouses and uh, other than we can we can install them inside the high tech greenhouses so capital cost initial capital cost is very very high we need trained man power which we, the people have a good knowledge about uh, you know uh, going with the how the hydroponic works and everything so we need the trained man power so, so educating people education is required to train the per people about, like about the system about the hydroponic system attention is we need the attention to shifting the market demands what are the market demand and how to um, introduce the crop according to the market demand likewise so attention to crop which is growing or cultural practices knowledge of ipm we also know how what is the integrated pest manage how to do that what is the we should have the knowledge of that also so knowledge of the environmental controls in the greenhouse how to control the first of all how to control the temperature inside the greenhouse how to control the humidity inside the greenhouse what are the, um, the technical aspects in the greenhouse first 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 we should have to know this and then only we can introduce the hydroponics we can run the hydroponics inside the greenhouse knowledge of climatic controls how to control the climatic parameters inside the greenhouse how to um, uh, climb how to control the climatic control as per the crop requirement so knowledge of bio friendly insects that is also very very essential that it comes in the ipm integrated pest management how to how to decrease the pest inside the greenhouse and how to uh, you know increase the yield so these are some of the things and then how we can help how our key activities are what how to set up the turnkey commercial hydroponic and soilless plants greenhouse systems like we need for fruits vegetable herbs aromatic and medicinal plants we need the consultancy for hydroponic soilless cultivation feasibility studies training in basics of for commercial hydroponic it is very essential when we need to first train the people and then only we have to channelize the commercial hydroponics because without uh, knowledge without we don't have the any knowledge of the hydroponics and how to run this how to, how to make the nutrients nutrient solution and all so without the knowledge of this we cannot run these highly sophisticated systems setting up broad acre hydroponic and soilless food parks with all the facilities so supplies of backyard greenhouse and all so this is all we have already done this so these are some of the systems if we see this is nutrient film technique system this is uh, nutrient film technique system this is the tomato cultivation they have done in the nft so this is the bag system with the drip irrigation in uh, incorporated with um, 
these are some of the capsicum cultivation this is the ebb and flow method of growing the plants this is the tomato cultivation by drip irrigation method in the grow bags they have done this is the again capsicum cultivation by the drip irrigation method in the grow bags this is the vertical farming how plants have to be uh, you know growing in the vertical vertically um, nft system so we can see the root development in the hydroponics how go how deep and profuse root system is uh, uh, we can produce in the hydroponics also you can see the cultivation in the dutch bucket system cultivation in the dutch bucket system Thank <laughs> you.